Hey, how is it going guys? So, I want to show you a couple of methods that I use to create machinima. If you guys seen Follow Malorn Hungers before, I kind of use fresh new animation there, alright? So, I want to show you how I make that, and don't worry, it's not that complicated, alright? So, um, I just want to want you to have a couple of programs with you. So, there is a program called Cinema 4D. Um, I kind of use this to like to animate manually and as well as I use it to like render stuff and um, to fix my model in certain kind of ways like don't complicate yourself there I'm just gonna show you to uh, how to use it in a very simple way you just need to learn two things here but before that I want you to go to Google and type mixamo.com all right so go in and create your account first okay so when you do that um, what it allows you to do is whenever you import your character there it will rig it and animate it on demand so instead of you animating it for days it will just get your character animated you know it's kind of crazy but it does that so first thing that you should do in order to do that is you need to use your wow model viewer i'm sure you know what wow model viewer does is um it kind of like gets your character out from the world of warcraft database and you can like um, customize them however you want. So I cannot enter one model viewer right now because um, we're now at pre-patch Legion. So um, the world of the wall model viewer is kind of outdated. So I cannot enter there for now. Um, later on, whenever it gets updated, you can just go in and export your character as either obj, .obj or .fbx. So obj is like an object. It's straight to the point. Or fbx, which is your animation. You know, so like if you export as FBX, your character will be, will be kind of breathing and moving whenever you import it to Cinema 4D. So don't worry about that, just forget that. Just ex uh, just export your character as either OBJ or, or FBX, doesn't matter. Whenever you get that, you need to create a zip file, okay? So you just go to WinRAR or something like that and take all of the files that you exported and put it inside the zip file. When you do that, just take and drag your, thing, your um, zip file to uploads in here. So when you do that, um, you just have to go to my my assists or your assists. <laughs> uh, you just go to your assists, and this is my character here, which is uh, I call him Idol because he's Idol. <laughs> so from there, uh, you just go to find animation. All right. So in here, kind of shows you a couple of animations. Actually, it's not a couple. It's a lot. It's a lot, man. You have like tons of them, and you can also search for whatever you want. So if you kind of like, um, if you remember in my um, cinematic, I kind of had like. Whenever my character kind of fell to Deathwing's wing, and he kind of like the wing went up, and my character kind of fell behind, you know what I mean? Uh, so you cannot get that from here because you can't tell the search to I don't know. Uh, I my character's on Deathwing's wing. Give me like an animation or something like that. No, uh, you just have to do it manually. But I'm I'm not gonna go there for now. First thing, let me just go to search and type fall because I um fall is where I like my character kind of falls skydives from the ship to his back so this is the fall here you can adjust it from here like at the right panel um, whenever you do that uh, you just go to view downloads or add to my assist so since I already added that to my assist I just press view downloads right um, whenever I get here I just Q download which allows you to download it and just make sure your skin says with skin all right and it's 30 frames per second so that's it I'm not gonna download it for now all right so this is the fall FBX I'm just gonna drag it to cinema 4d all right so it's here okay it's gonna load a bit all right so it's here um, if I press play you can see my character kind of moving it's kind of slow but uh, it doesn't matter for now so yeah it works here now what you gotta do is fix your uh, rendering settings so don't worry about that just go to see the cube okay go to the left side and you see edit render settings alright so just press it once and I want you to have width and height 1280 by 720 alright when you do that you go to frame range and go to all frames okay so it renders all of the frames next step will be save so you save your files somewhere uh, now I highly recommend you to create a new folder uh, call it whatever you like and just place your um, files there right when you render because whenever you're gonna render the files will be scattering all over your desktop or something so um, just keep them neat in one folder which is the best thing to do uh, format will be PNG and alpha channel should be ticked alright so it's very simple here um, whenever you do that you just have to find the right angle 
Okay, so just find the right angle here. And whenever you find it, uh, just press the one in the middle, the render to picture viewer. Okay, so you render it. Alright, so I'm just gonna close Cinema 4D, which I don't need anymore. You see, I have my folder here, right? So it contains these PNG files, the pictures. Um, so don't worry about that, just close that. And now you need a program called Adobe After Effects, alright? You can use many programs to. Um, like, what I'm gonna do there is I'm just gonna convert the PNG files into video, okay? You can do that in many programs, but I use Adobe After Effects, you can do that as well, just get it if you want to. So now what you want to do is go to the project, you just have to select this window, the project window, press Ctrl and N, it shows you like this composition panel, make sure the width and the height are 1280 by 720 and the background should be either green or blue, since you want to add your chroma key into it, right? So whenever you do that, just press OK. And from here, you just have to import your PNG files, which you press Ctrl and I, okay? So you press Ctrl I and try to find your folder where you saved them on. Okay, so I just just press one of them. Don't like select all of them. Just one of them doesn't matter. And import. I'm gonna drag this one all the way to here. And so here, uh, I want you to go to the right and to the work area end. If you see here, right? Just so want you to go all the way down here. So it won't render extra space, all right? So when you do that, just press Ctrl and M. And in here, you just have to render it. You just press render, and it's pretty much done. You're done here, you close it. And if you see, this is um, the video now. You will see like your um, skydiving, your character skydiving or something like that. But it's kind of slow, doesn't matter for now. So from here, you just import this one into your uh, editing program that you use and just add the chroma key into it and you're done. Just add backgrounds or however you want to do. Um, so this, this is pretty much it. Like I can go more into details uh, but for now I'll just keep things simple and I hope I helped you there. So I guess I see you next time. Bye bye.